Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see a Java Challenger about streams and the grouping by method. Okay, so that's the Challenger. As you can see here, we are using Lombok. So if you don't know Lombok, it's a library that helps you with the boilerplate code. For example, instead of creating lots of getters and setters, we can just put the annotation here at data. And that means that Lombok will be creating the getters and setters for us. And the all args constructor, it means that it's gonna create a constructor with those attributes, okay? So just one thing that we shouldn't use at data on every pojo because uh, we would be breaking encapsulation. So we'll use that carefully because we want to restrict our attributes as much as we can. I used at data here because it's a Java challenger. So this example, this challenger is for going deep into the Java language, but uh, you should use that carefully unless you have to just expose every attribute from your class. Otherwise use that carefully. Okay. So that's the challenger <clears throat> and we have here a list of characters. So we've got here Homer Simpson, Bart, Ned, and Todd. And here we have the ice stream in that list. And then we are collecting and we are using the grouping by method. And then we are mapping this information. And here we are using the grouping by method again and using the summing in. So I'm gonna give you some time to think about this challenger and let me know when you're ready to say what is the output, what's gonna print. Okay guys, so now we'll be running the challengers with uh, Docker and thanks to Rodrigo Moutinho that done this whole script here, amazing script with Docker Compose, uh, we can do that now and we can just run every single Java challenger in the Docker container. And if you want to know more about Docker, I'm gonna put a link uh, to uh, Rodrigo Moutinho's work and you can check it out. A lot of cool stuff about automation. Okay guys, so now that we compiled everything with Docker and we had to run some extra commands here, but I can't show that because Otherwise the challenger would be very long, but um, yeah, further actions are necessary when we are using an external library like Lombok. But now that these, uh, those issues are solved, let's run it with Docker. So, okay. Are you ready? You see the answer? Yep. Yep. Okay. So turn around and let's see what is the answer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Congratulations guys. You got it right. Thank you, man. Very good one. Okay, so let's see why uh, the answer is that one. So here we are using the collection factory method. So we are basically creating a new list. And then here we are using the grouping by method. It's a very powerful method and it works very similarly to the group by instruction on SQL. So what we are doing here, we are grouping by we are firstly running into the stream of character list, and then we are collecting a uh, grouping by information that is grouped by the share name. So we've got here two share names. We've got Simpson and Flanders. So what's gonna happen here? We're gonna group this information by the share name, and then we're gonna show the name that would be here, like we are seeing here. Uh, Flanders and then Ned and Todd, Simpson, then Homer and Bart. And here we are using the other method called summing int. And what we are doing here, we are also grouping by share name. So that would be Simpson and Flanders. And then we are adding the beer quantity per family name. So uh, Homer Simpson has 10 beers, Bart has one and Flanders has minus one beer. So that's why we show here uh, that Flanders has minus one beer and the Simpsons have 11 beers. 
And those methods are very useful when we want to group information and show some key data regarding a list. And that is very easy to do with the grouping by function. And if we wanted to do that without streams, we would create a huge code with ifs and it wouldn't be clean and intuitive like using streams. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this challenger. Do you have any questions about it? No, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, Very good one. Mm. Nice challenge. Thanks for explanation, man. Perfect. Thanks. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. Okay, so that was the challenger about map and grouping by. It's a very important method to know about because it's chances are that we're going to use a grouping of information very often. So if we know that, we make our code cleaner and easier to understand. Okay, so other than the summing int method, we've got a lot more uh, of methods like average um, and many more. Okay, so yeah, that, that was the, the main topic of this challenger. And I would, um, I'm going to recommend you to get the Java Challengers code. I'm going to put here on the, <coughs> on the video. So that's the link to uh, download the Java Challengers. And I'll also put this, this link on the description of this video. And as always, if you like the video, please give a like. And also get subscribed to um, so so that I can create even better videos for you. Okay, so that's it, and see you the next challenger.